Now at five, and some Carl Gables residents getting a surprise visitor today. This guy, Big Crocodile, spotted taking a stroll on Lugo Avenue this morning. CBS 4's Peter Dent spoke with two people who use their iPhones to take this video. It's a striking sight. A police officer keeps his eyes on a crocodile as it walks by this gate on Red Road near Lugo Avenue in Gables by the Sea. At first, I saw some commotion at uh, the entrance of the community, the Gables by the Sea. A bunch of cops didn't know what was going on, and it kind of I did a double take. A Dax Bello took video on his iPhone. A couple cops near it. One of them had one of those poles with a uh, a little loop on the end of it, like he was going to do something with it. And the first thing I could think to do was grab my grab my iPhone and take some video of it. Ferdinand Kurt did the same thing with his iPhone after spotting this reptile. He was right over there on the fence, you know. And one of the cops had a stick, and you know he tried to keep him at bay. Trapper Todd Hardwick of Pesky Critters was called in, and along with another man, they captured this eight-foot-long American crocodile. Crocs are intimidating animals. I think I have, a, you know, like everybody else, a lot of respect uh, from from crocs. No, I mean, authorities say American crocodiles have never been responsible for a confirmed human death in the U.S. But just two years ago, in Gables by the Sea, two residents were bitten by a crocodile, nicknamed Pacho, who was eventually captured. I know that there have been crocodiles in the area. These crocodiles apparently are, you know, saltwater, and that's a saltwater community in the canals. So I was pretty sure it was a crocodile. Uh, first thing through my mind was not to get out of the car. Which was the safest thing to do. A croc right here in front of my, you know, uh, front yard, I mean, uh, that, that's kind of intimidating. Of course, you always wonder immediately, I mean, how did he get here, get there in the first place, right? I mean, what, what's he doing up here? In the past month, five crocodiles have been captured in South Florida. The one that was picked up here was scheduled to be released into a saltwater habitat in South Miami-Dade. Despite that, authorities say there is a chance this crocodile will find its way back here. In Gables-by-the-Sea, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.